In this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest way to get an instant sack against the PA boot over in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking for the most effective tips and strategies in the Madden community, I would encourage you to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now guys, in this video, like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you a way that you can get an instant sack if your opponent is running the bunch tight end or the PA boot over uh, meta passing concept. This is, in my personal opinion, the best passing play in the game right now. Um, there's a lot of really good setups from this play, and I want to show you a way that you can really combat the PA uh double team rollout stuff out of my nickel 335 odd defense if you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive guide um, this will teach you how to get the best pressure possible in this game we're able to get three man and two man nano blitzes as well as some of the best coverage that you could possibly create out of cover six cover four drop as well as things like sam mike three lb cross three shitsu all of these really really effective uh, concepts. So that being said, let's show this very simple setup out of the cover six. It's a great way to combat the PA boot over and a lot of the things that people like to do out of the uh, three three five or out of the uh, bunch tight end. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do from a setup perspective is we're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to spread our linebackers. Uh, we're going to crash our defensive line to the bunch side, so to the left here. And then we're just going to show blitz. Once we show blitz, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and take this safety, Whitehead, and I like to put him into uh, an inside quarter zone. Okay, inside quarter zone, just like this. And then I'm going to take the circle receiver, and I'm actually, or the circle uh, corner, so the corner right here, and I'm going to blitz him off the edge. So you see here, it's going to create this animation. Now, uh, all we're going to do from there is we're just going to use your Levante David. Now, the only other thing that I would recommend is spotlighting the middle receiver. That's going to help us defend the crossing routes and all that stuff from the PA boot over. So I'm just going to set kind of a standard setup here. Make sure you pass commit. And what you should see here is we should get instant pressure right at the quarterback, just like that instant sack animation every single time. So let me show you what happens here in instant replay. But basically, whenever they run play action this year, um, a lot of times they're going to double team this guy because they're totally expecting this guy to be in coverage. So they're going to double team this guy. I didn't even do that on this play. Um, but typically, you're going to see this animation right here. Obviously, they're running the play action. Even if they cancel the play action, this guy is still going to come in. The guard actually recovered relatively effectively there. But as you can see, the quarterback's going to roll right into your pressure. And from this perspective here, uh, obviously, my user responsibility is the drag. I didn't cover that. But I just want you to watch. So my user responsibility is a drag route. And then I want you to watch the rest of the coverage. So you're going to see here that this crossing route is going to get matched relatively effectively here across the formation. And then we've got this deep post route. Obviously, the play is already over at this point, but we've got one-on-one -on -one coverage on that over the top. So let me show you that same concept again, uh, and let's just go over it one more time. So again, just spread your line, spread your linebackers. You're going to show blitz. I like to go ahead and just blitz this guy off the edge. And typically, you're going to get this contain angle. As long as you don't move him, you should get this contain angle, and that's what we really want. That's the most effective way to do this. And then what you can even do if you wanted to is you could drop Jason Pierre-Paul into a three-rack hook zone. I could take this middle linebacker and put him into a middle read or middle third, and then then I can have you know my roll coverage to the bunch tight end side or to the bunch set of the formation. So all I have to do is take anything quick to the right. That's literally all I have to do, and we should have pretty solid, uh, pretty solid uh, coverage. So again, I'm just going to go P boot over. I'm not double teaming or anything. I just want to show you the kind of standard way. And then as you see here, rolls right in, instant sack every single time. And that is really one of my favorite little setups to defend the PA boot over meta. Now, you might be saying, well, Cody, what happens if they, you know, just maybe do something like this where they put the, the running back out on a route, but they just run that delay fade? Well, the beauty of this is this is what's going to, this is really going to give us really good pressure. And that's really the whole purpose of this. We're going to get really good pressure against this. If he does this right here and you look at your play art, if you QB contain, what you'll see is you'll just kind of move this guy in off the edge just a little bit. 
just like this you can do that um, if you don't want to do that you can just again just leave him out here this is fine um, you know it's not a big deal you don't have to move him in or anything and I, I don't want you to think that uh, I just want you to to leave him as he is most of the time he'll be on a contain occasionally he kind of glitches out and that's fine it's not gonna mess the it shouldn't mess the pressure up at all um, you know again you might need to do like a man align whatever um, to try to get proper alignment or press or it you know you can do all these other little tricks to get this thing to align properly we're not too concerned with that right now the biggest thing i want to go over is the pressure if they decide that they don't want to actually go ahead and run the totality of the pa boot over meta setup so we're going to drop that three rack hook zone we're going to take this guy here and put him into a middle read we've got an inside quarter that's going to come over there so if they come over any way we're just going to do this come out here you see the pressure gets picked up for initially, but the crossing route is completely bagged, which I really like that about this concept. Now the pressure is actually, like I said, it's going to be a little bit more consistent um, if we can make sure that this guy is on a contain. Uh, in game, I find that this is a little bit better uh, in terms of like him more consistently being on a contain. Uh, if you want to, you see there that spread of the linebackers uh, really going to help a lot too. You could also just go ahead and QB contain and it's fine. It's You can you can run it like this as well. You're going to be in a good position. You're not going to, you, you're going to be in a really advantageous position in my opinion against bunch tight end because what bunch tight end does, in my opinion, the best is it really does a good job of getting out of the pocket well when you take that ability away now they have to actually step up in the pocket and personal experience as someone that likes running bunch tight end um it's not necessarily super easy and that deep post route is completely bagged whenever you run the setup like this so this is just a simple way that you can kind of limit the effectiveness of the pa boot over now if you really wanted to get aggressive with this what you could easily do um is go ahead and blitz your linebacker on the right side of the screen so like that and then you can still blitz that corner now what you'll see is you're going to get insane pressure if they don't block like not even if they you're just going to use her over here now the one thing i will tell you with this is now you're responsible for the crossing route um you are 100 percent responsible for the crossing route so let's say they run you know p boot over and they do this you're going to snap the ball now the pressure is going to scream in but you're going to come over here and then you're going to work back to your crosser okay so these are some little ways that we can really combat um the bunch tied in you know kind of some of the concepts that people are going to be doing out of this formation um, this formation is really really effective but if you do some stuff like i'm sharing with you in this video you're going to be in a little bit better of a spot you're going to be able to kind of hang with in my opinion probably the toughest offense in my opinion to blitz in the game because you've got really good alignment in terms of your your tight end and your running back being on that same side and you see here that we can just get this pressure and then again your primary responsibility is to work those two crossing routes so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it this is a way that you can really combat uh, bunch tight in in terms of the rolling out and all of that stuff. You can also, if you wanted to, you can use her this guy as well. Um, you can use her white as well. You don't have to just use her the right side. I like to because I think it just helps a little bit. But if we wanted to, again, you know, you could do this. And then the big thing is, in my opinion, is making sure that your guy here, if you can get this guy on a contain, that's great. If you can't, um, and like I said, it works a little bit better in game from the contain aspect. In practice mode, the contains are kind of glitched out, in my opinion. But you're going to see that, you know, if you can get him on a contain, typically he'll get a little wider. And that's the idea. The wider the blitz angle, the better it's going to loop around that block tight end. So that's just something to kind of be, you know, mindful of. There's obviously several other ways that we can get pressure against bunch tight end, which we go over in our defensive guide as well as better coverages and things like that but this is a concept that you can begin using to start slowing down bunch tight end i personally think that bunch tight end is actually harder um is actually a better offense than bunch right now because of the bombs that you can run out of it and because of the pass protection that you can create from it so thanks for watching this video i would encourage you to get that defensive ebook there's a link in the description you can get the full 335 odd defensive guide for just 15 dollars, and i'll teach you in that defensive guide how to slow how to basically shut down 
every single offense, we literally go through step by step. How do you stop you trips? How do you stop trips? How do you stop bunch? How do you stop bunch tight end? How do you stop spread? And so those are some of the in-depth stuff that we can't put in a tip, but we can definitely put in a guide for you. So if you want to get the most in-depth nickel 335 odd defensive guide, I would encourage you to pick that up. There's a link in the description. You can click that link. It'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys next time.